One of the great things that China has is that it sees development partners as equal partners. China looks forward to assisting them with. So in these areas, we're looking at areas of fisheries. Mm -hmm. We are a small nation, land-wise, but we are a big ocean nation with a very big EEZ that rivals the EEZ of other countries. And therefore, that's one area. One area of practical development also is our phosphate industry. China, especially with its global initiatives, mm -hmm. will look forward to those practical benefits that will actually start happening on island. It will be my advice when I go back home to our president and to cabinet and caucus. What negative thing can you say about the BRI? Nothing. It is absolutely a positive initiative. When we debated this issue of the One China Principle in Parliament, I used the BRI as an example. I basically said, well, let's take this initiative that was launched 10 years ago in, in, in China, mm -hmm. the Belt and Road Initiative. And I gave this, uh, basically, because it's historic. It comes from the Silk Road. I've always been uh, an admirer of history uh, and a student of history. Mm -hmm. And seen what the Silk Road did to all the economies, all the countries along the road. And those were basically the cities. Yeah. Well, of course, the, um, the solar panels has a major economic impact. It'll affect the prices of electricity and utilities back in Nauru. They will, of course, drop by the implementation of more solar panels and more green energy into Nauru. The ports will be a game changer. We've we will be equal to other countries in the Pacific who have ports so ships can easily come in, fishing vessels can come in. Like other countries have established canneries and, uh, and, and, and fish loining plants within that port area, we can do the same thing. Our fisheries people will be coming here sh shortly and they're looking forward to establishing a fishing industry. As soon as the port's done, 